We got a great thing we're going to be doing very soon. I think it's two weeks away now. Unfortunately, we're going to do a le- next week, but it ain't happening, right? Yeah, two. Three. We got to change the date. Okay, something we came up with uh, yesterday. But first, here's the new sensitive money snatch promo. We still need women to do the money snatch. We thought the promo was a little harsh. It was harsh. It made it sound like only a loser woman would come down and do this, and we uh, we couldn't have that. So uh, we have a new one. The Opie and Anthony Show is all about finding creative ways to give people who need money a little extra money. So we came up with the Money Snatch. The Money Snatch is a festive little contest in which young women are invited to the studio, placed in a room chock full of money, and whatever they manage to hold on to, they get to keep. So head on over to opianthony.com or foundrymusic.com if you want more information, and try your luck at the Money Snatch. There is, however... One small catch. One, you have to be totally naked. Two, you ain't carrying that money home in your hand. Three, if it falls out of your cooch before you make it out of the room, you're shit out of luck. Four, no crying. We hate that shit. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, the phones are just lit with people that want to do the money snatch. (laughs) Yeah, that'll that'll work. All right. And, uh, well, they uh, redid our lockdown for the other side of the show. Let's see if this sounds a little better. I love it. How to put the Steve singing in there. That's good. We'll use that over the other joint. And finally, our our uh, our new contest that's uh, coming very soon to the Opie and Anthony show. The Opie and Anthony show is always looking to stretch the limits of human endurance. So from deep within the womb of ONA Labs comes So Your Pussy's Got Talent. The Opie and Anthony show is going to stretch, stuff, and maybe even staple a lucky vagina. How far can one pussy go? Eric, run! Run, you pussy! Find out soon on the Opie and Anthony show. (laughs) That sounds fun. That's entertaining. So your pussy has talent. So your pussy's got talent. Can you- <laughs> Dude, we actually decided to do some show prep yesterday. That's, that's going to be a great contest. That's what we came out up with. It's going to be terrific. you got to get a mom to bring her like 21 or 22-year-old daughter in that's proud of her daughter. No, no, we, we, already got, we already got the slut. Yep. She's see, right there. See, you would think that it's there a competition between ladies no. and their vaginas. It isn't. We supply a vagina. Yeah. That's the vagina that is supplied. Yeah. And then the guys have to come up with a way to use that vagina in an entertaining fashion. Creative way. Oh, Creative. man. So listen, here's the deal too. I think an example was Danny. Uh, it was brought up that he had always wanted to do Rorschach tests with an inky vagina. You take ink, slap it on the vagina, squat it on a fucking piece of paper, and then say it looks like a man eating a shrimp cocktail. What you got to do is get a magic act to pull a rabbit out of there. Say that too. Oh, okay. There you go. A rabbit a, up a there. A rabbit out of there. I think that's a winner. That's a winner. Anything goes. We're looking for maybe a homemade volcano. Yeah, where maybe she could uh, hold her ass up and uh, you could put um, Mentos, baking Diet soda, Coke. and vinegar in there. A little food coloring. I'd go for Mentos and Diet Coke. Men- me- we did the Mentos. We did the foaming pussy. We put Mentos it in had the girl's problems. pussy and yeah. some soda. We had to take that one back to the lab. And had her do a headstand. And I don't think we'd ever be allowed to do that again. <laughs> wow. Boy, about, imagine the paper having to report how that woman died. <laughs> oh, how about fish fucking her with a Rosie O'Donnell hand puppet? That would be nice, Could do too. that. So, basically, the guys behind the scenes, the, the guys you know and love, yeah. they're, like, uh, in competition. They're coming up with ways to use her Ideas pussy. Ideas to use her pussy. Oh. Yeah. But I'm thinking maybe we should get a pest involved yeah. or, a, or a team of pests. Or I, I like the magician idea. 
Maybe someone that uh, thinks they could pull uh, pull a, a unique trick with this uh, this uh, woman's pussy, or or that. make a funnel out of newspaper and pour milk into it, <laughs> and all of a sudden you know the milk is gone. <laughs> I like that trick. Oh, I got one. I could try to get my wife to eat this girl's pussy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were saying that like some guy that just wants to lose yeah. but doesn't care. Just go. I bet I can put my cock in there and pump it back and forth until I come. <laughs> Does she have to do anything they tell you, tell her to do? I mean, uh, yeah, we hear she's a goer, really? so they'll do. Yeah, she'll do uh, whatever they yeah. request. Oh, Roman candle! I think we're like two weeks out. Yes, doesn't Little her two big, weeks out? Doesn't oh, her big her pussy's got talent? I'm, I, I'm I'm coming in just to watch. You Boss, know, what? Doesn't her big second toe annoy you? Oh my God! What's cut that, that off and put that in her pussy? <laughs> yeah, that's, that would win. She is kind of sexy, though. Did you look at it, uh, Laszlo? No, she got one of those. Right. Yeah, look at her eight her toes. Toe. Where the yeah. second one's a lot longer. The second one's. Oh, weird. that bugs the shit out Doesn't of me. Doesn't that bug you? It just it looks way too much like an orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal: if uh, if a couple pests come up with a good idea, they could join. So your pussy's got talent. Yeah. Wow. Get a hold of Steve with your idea. And or anyone, anyone uh, out there, we'd love an, an opening song for this game show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we need songs, we you need know. production, we need magicians. So should... your pussy's got talent. Shove it in your pussy. Something just that would fit the mood of the uh, the competition. Has yeah. she been in the studio yet? No. What does she get out of this? Ah, some plugs. She's a, a pussy <laughs> full of stuff. <laughs> Slutty plugs. Yep. All right. Uh, oh, I want to see Patrice walk in with a suitcase like Dr. <laughs> Mengele. Like, oh, yeah. with his last dildos. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's like a scene from the marathon man with her pussy. <laughs> we didn't talk about uh, Goldie Hawn yet. That's how we started the show. Oh, with the, uh, yeah, the post oh. wasn't very kind to her. Get the picture so we can pass it around, and then we'll maybe we'll talk about that before we get out of here. Laszlo's in studio. Laszlo's doing a show tomorrow night. That's on right. Two. After the razzle uh, dazzle. Yeah, well, actually, it's after the razzle dazzle. Razzle yeah, dazzle. I get, bumped, I get bumped to the nine o'clock slot, so it's nine o'clock oh. Eastern tomorrow night. What's That's going good. on? What's going on with the razzle dazzle uh, hour this weekend? Uh oh. Keith. I, oh no. Now Who, I don't want to hear any complaining. Oh, now I, Keith decided his strategy. I, hold the phone, Pally. Well, okay. Keith's I, strategy is I'm going to come in with both both guns blazing. Well, and that way I can't catch any shit. Well, listen, I went downstairs and they didn't have it. Yeah. And then I went down the block to the other place, they didn't have it. Enough of that club soda, Kenny OCD shit in, in six degrees, all right? Where does Kenny <laughs> get the fruit? He gets it downstairs, but they didn't have it. They only had mixed fruit. So I went the extra mile and I ran down the block to 7th Avenue and no, they only had mixed fruit. Too. All right, let me see that. It's Let's primarily... See let let me it. see what's in it because there are some things I will not even have touching other other... Ooh, a couple blueberries. Those go. I hate blueberries. Uh, they're blueberries. I pronounce blueberries. them like humans do. You like that blueberries. thing? That's a kiwi. I like a kiwi. I like a strawberry. Ooh, Take the strawberry kiwi. looks a little old, though. A little, little rancid. Yeah. Don't eat that. It's a little dark. <laughs> Look at that. If the strawberry's bad, the whole thing's going to be bad. Looks like a fucking kidney. <laughs> that strawberry's from <laughs> Uganda. Here. No. Take my kiwi. I ain't. I'm not going to take your kiwi. You've already cracked the seal. I don't, uh... We go. Oh, great. That looks like a fucking abortion. In <laughs> <laughs> that strawberry. Look at this strawberry. What oh, the fuck my. is that? You can't eat that fruit, Ant. Oh. You'll get sick. I don't like the pineapple. Let's see what's left. I don't like that. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Let's see what's left. And now that's what you were looking for. <laughs> yeah, five pieces of melon. And a kiwi. And a kiwi. No, I can't eat this now either. <laughs> what about the blueberries? No, those will go, but I'll... Okay, come here. <laughs> I, I, I gotta get rid of... There's only three. They really went all out. I know. Good thing I'm not a blueberry fan. They gave me three. This cantaloupe tastes like it has lead in it. This... Oh, great. <laughs> Oh, and then some kind of pus just came out of the blueberry. I just did that. It was a white, bluish pus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And now I got to eat this? He's throwing the whole thing out after this bite. I probably will. I, now I'm disgusted. <laughs> Two, <laughs> one. But he's hungry. Yeah. 
Just to overlook the fact that some oh, some filthy Indian put that together three <laughs> fucking days ago. <laughs> you mean a, a goddamn... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck that. I've had it. Holy crap. You know, now you're going to get me fucking fired. Why? Because you know he's going to bitch and complain when he hears what's going on. He's on a plane somewhere. Oh, he's going to know. <laughs> Kenny Jeez, will fuck know. Him. I was hostile. Kenny will know. <laughs> I am fucking There's, disgusted. Yeah. I took a bite of the cantaloupe, and it tasted like a pineapple with rancid strawberry on it. Oh, oh mixed fruit. Indeed. Go ahead. Well, you eat it, Voss. Well, there's melon Ate juice it. all over the window now. <laughs> Look, see? Isn't it awful? Now clean it up! <laughs> Be a killer like your father! Who's that nice yogurt for? Oh, that's for me. No, oh, I bet. <laughs> Specially made. Uh, nice it's alright. I'm stuffed. I had a bagel Ooh. at fucking three in the morning. <laughs> So what put it over the top was when he said the Indian guy prepared it three yep, days ago. That's what got me, Laszlo. By the way, Laszlo got... That's why there's fucking shit on that window. Why does strawberries taste I'm like sorry berry? if I hit you, Keith, with no, any fruit. Okay. All right. Um, how the guys Keith's used to getting hit by fruits, but then he arrests them. <laughs> any ideas coming in? He worked the, in the village for a while. <laughs> from the guys about uh, your pussy's got talent? Yeah, everybody. Danny really is impressive with how much he hates women's vaginas. <laughs> Why? What has he got going so far? Can a woman's vagina go out Where's and Danny? get me melon? That would win. Where's Your Danny? Your pussy's got talent. Danny. Yes, sir. I think Danny pretty much uh, indirectly came up with this idea. Yeah. Going around yesterday. Because he's fascinated with uh, women's vaginas, but who isn't as a guy? But he really wants to punch them. <laughs> they're not the yeah. best looking things in the world. Well, it's like we uh, talk. They're speak, more functional. We're back on this again. What the fuck's they're wrong with you? Functionality. They're the perfect. worst of it. And he went off on this whole tirade about how yes. horrible vaginas are. Oh, I forgot about Thank that. Thank I was in the room for that one, too. That's they right. could have looked great and felt like shit. What the fuck would you rather have? See, that's why you know it's not a bit. I know to me they don't they just they're put they don't look good. They they're look, made for that. Every nice little fucking... piece of a vagina is made to make your cock feel good. No, first of all, you would never look at a pussy without fucking go, Oh, that was a nice pussy. I had a good time looking at that pussy. Uh, no, there's no, no reason. Wow. There are you some very really? attractive vaginas You're, out there. Are you fuck are you for real? You yes. think they're a good looking thing? Actually, it's a body. Actually, okay, this is a pussy. I, I don't want to go through this again because you said you did here. You Didn't lose every time on right. this argument. Nah. Now, what, if you, like, cu cu cut one out with a cookie cutter or a core sampler? What do you think? A cock it, is it a work look of good? art, you faggot? No, I didn't bring up <laughs> cock, okay, precious. What I said, <laughs> what I said, without the Don't whole make body... make play the share song. <laughs> without, without the whole, whole body, body and the breast. And it doesn't look good. Yeah, without the whole package, no. just looking at a... What, what do you well, think, okay. a single tit would look good sitting on a table? When you jerk off, if you're looking on the internet, you're I, not just looking at the pussy, you're looking at the whole thing. I to prove your point wrong. You ever see a really old lady naked? <laughs> Almost in Florida. You were proving something there, Opie? Right. I believe you started by saying... Almost. I made out point. with her. I couldn't get her clothes off. So Opie, you're Opie had a great line of uh, thought in the office talking about um, vaginas, though. We were talking about vaginas this morning. Uh, um, imagine, and it came from the Goldie Hawn story. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Imagine if I old do my woman's best work vagina... In the office, by the way. <laughs> what, what did you say? Huh? Imagine if... Uh, I just said, uh, well, you have a picture of Goldie Hawn uh, yeah. playing tennis down there in Florida. She's now 63. And the and the headline, because the post is just hilarious, it says, it's Oldie Hawn. Oldie Hawn, they called oh, her. Instead of Goldie Hawn. And she looks horrible. She looks horrific. Uh, and I, I, I just said, you know, imagine if God had a sense of humor and... And uh, and an old pussy, like old lady pussy, was the best pussy you would ever ever had. It would feel like just velvet and just like, just what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Exactly. <laughs> She's saying if. Exactly. <laughs> Could you imagine if? Do you know if and 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 see that's where bitter that, irony and that's where the joke is because none of us would ever know because we're just turned With off somebody by the entire age. Package. Anyway, who's pussy's, gonna you know <laughs> that pussy's so old and dry is blowing past the saloon before a gunfight. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know who went to uh, to a mental institution yesterday was uh, Shelly Long. Yeah, I know. I, I watched the inside. Shelly Long. Yeah, but she's out already. What happened to her? She's fine. <laughs> 
I Look at that. Shelly Long in the Tooth, they'd call her. All right, Danny's, in, uh, the post. Danny's back in with his ideas for you. Danny. Danny. Got talent. Holy a nice shit, look at what There you go. Now that's the pussy. Eat squirrel out of the that's pussy. A ho- that's the worst. Look how... Is that really his cock? No, that's no, his that's pussy. No, that's a woman. That's his pussy. So look at the whole package, Voss. I mean, because you're not just looking at the pussy. That uh, was born a woman. Listen, and turned and into a man through hormone treatment. No fucking way. Yes. And he's and a muscle biker dude now. He's fucking built with, with like With his a... original vagina. Are you for real? Yeah, we talked yeah. to him. His name's Buck... Uh, Buck, Angel. Buck Angel. Buck Angel, yeah. But he was a woman once. Yeah. yeah. A hot a, woman. A pretty woman. Like a slight little model. model. She was a model. Like an English-looking uh, and now a bald, skinny model. A bald, you think we had like a motorcycle kids. dude? Yeah, what yeah. the fuck drives <laughs> you to that? that? Holy shit. That's, that isn't just seeing some spaghetti the, going down the wall no. after your parents are arguing and throws it uh, the spaghetti against the phone. That was more We're than two mom days in the off the of school. This is no. a little different, yeah. That's a fuck. Oh. Yeah, we failed to mention that, that there is a fine line with that uh, fucked up uh, upbringing to... Yeah. Where it could have been a lot worse where you're doing some well, crazier I mean, shit. This is a fucked up upbringing, too. Yeah. You know it doesn't look good? A vagina that looks like uh, it's been... Uh, a like blown out from the inside, yeah. like an alien came out of it. Like that doesn't look good. With all the flaps hanging, when but you watch porno and it's hanging, when it flaps. looks nice, you know, when it's nice, everything's together. When it's tucked in, it's tight. When it's hanging, it looks like uh, curtains uh, and shit. It's 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 like curtains. you you, ah, you want to play tetherball. It's just horrible. <laughs> all right, listen, let's get to Danny. Danny, uh, yeah, has some ideas for your pussy's got talent. Coming soon to the Opie and Anthony show. Well, I wanted to improve on uh, the Diet Coke and Mentos thing. Uh-huh. And I think I have a foolproof way to get this done. All right. Safely, uh, with maximum uh, volume. So oh, okay. Nice. So I have my plan. That's one of my... Uh, now, uh, do you know anything about rocketry? You might find this odd that I'm asking, but do you know anything about rocketry? Not a whole lot, no. Every action There's has an equal and opposite reaction. Okay. Now, a rocket works by having a chamber and uh, some type of volatile material is put into the chamber. And since there is only one route of escape, it comes out, thus propelling the craft in the opposite direction. Now, you do understand if you're, you have any type of pressure built up, it's not just going to uh, come out the vagina end of it. It's going to also go forward up into her womb. Understood. I don't think that we'll be working with with an amount of pressure that could do any kind of bodily damage. Yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty I'm pretty confident. It would be nice to plug up uh, with an IUD type device. That would be nice. Then you could pack it with dynamite. Any flames <laughs> fucking Any flames shooting into a pussy. There's no, there's no, no such thing as minimal, huh? No flames? This no, brings no back flames. memories of us uh, shooting a bottle rocket. Yeah, a girl's pussy. We shot a bottle rocket that, out of that, her pussy. I think we finally fantastic. got that video up on YouTube. It's terrific. We were more concerned with burning her, so we set up like heat shields and stuff. Yeah, but she aimed that thing and boom! <laughs> boom. All right, what right else across the uh, room? What else do you got for the contest, Danny? Well, something else I just thought was kind of funny uh, was basically a huge uh, Rube Goldberg machine. And basically, on the very end, oh. just like a, a big, a big rubber finger. So the big payoff would just be the finger going in, and not even coming. My out. God, would that be beautiful? Like, like the old mousetrap games. Exactly. <laughs> like you, you start by just throwing a marble into a funnel, yeah. and there's a boot kicking a toaster, and a string pulls, and the bowling ball goes down and knocks into a stick, and the stick pushes over dominoes. And then in the end, the payoff, a finger just goes <laughs> forward and goes bloop into our pussy. <laughs> Fucking brilliant, Danny. Yeah. Thank you. How the hell are you going to Super that genius. Up? I have no idea. It's going to feel miserable. Just but it's sketching plans like the coyote. <laughs> yeah, these guys got some competition behind the scenes. I Danny, wow, that ideas. would be good. And the best execution. Any others? What Dan? a payoff Dan, that you would have be have if one. You're a creative guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not. I'm approaching this from a whole nother place than uh, Danny. Yeah, like for instance, we gave we, like f- there's sort of like a standing order for everybody to think of bits and contests, mm-hmm. and Danny had five pussy related ones in the bank oh, already. Oh, already? In, oh, okay. So like you're just kind of pulling these out to use. Right. So we're all a little frightened by Danny's uh, fascination with the subject, but yeah, we'll, we'll all try. Why don't you? Anyone else out there have an idea they want to bring to the table yet? Bill has one. 
All right, Bill, I bet it involves a hatchet. Yeah. yeah. I, I have one. I had one like Danny's, but then I have a what my main one, which is she puts a bottle of milk in her pussy, yeah. and Eric has to wear a bonnet and drink it <laughs> <laughs> like a baby, <laughs> and he's in a diaper. And, she, and he has to keep going, I'm Eric Nagel, the producer of the Hopi and Anthony show. And then she goes, you're a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> he has a sucker for Oh my god. What is <laughs> All he wanted to do was bash E Rock. <laughs> and he did it. Uh, oh, is that hysterical? <laughs> <laughs> no way. I'm Eric Nagel and I'm a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> With a bonnet on. <laughs> Holy fuck. God, those guys hate you. Yeah. Whose it's idea was that? Bill's. Bill. Do you have an idea for the pussy, E Rock? I have elements, I just don't know how to construct it yet. Everyone's involved, you know? Yeah. Well, we're going to get some nice money up for these guys. The the best idea and best execution will win the win the, uh, the money. See, you I'd love somebody... to be involved with something like this. Why does the staff get the, the fun? Dude, you can go for one. Can I, I think, is that something? Yeah. That'd be fun. You know, if somebody I'm comes to... in with a turban, somebody's clit's getting cut off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Circumcision, African style. Steve, you have one yet? shovel. Steve, you working on an idea for your pussy's got talent? Yeah. I put on I... boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> and I knock the bitch out. I just had a, a brief one. I oh, okay. just, just, I'm right. not sure if it's going to work, but maybe uh, making the drink uh, the Irish car bomb. Oh, right, okay. Irish car bomb. You know. And then drink... uh, (laughs) (laughs) There should be some kind of points for uh, utilization of the anus as well. (laughs) Oh, if you want to... I wonder if you could use... You can use that to anchor... As a peripheral thing, an anchor point. Anchor down some apparatuses for your... (laughs) Get those false teeth that go like this and make her pussy eat corn. Or, wow, utilizing the anus. I'm digging this. Hold on, how about this? You take one of those things, you know those things in the office, in an office, in the, the uh, uh, usually the boss's desk, the metal balls that go, right, tick, right. Tick, tick, yeah. tick. you take two of them, tie them to strings, one's to a butt plug, one's to a little vagina, you shove one up her ass, one up her pussy, she spreads her legs, and you go, click, 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 and turn her into one of those human fucking office stress-relieving visual things. Nice. <laughs> it utilizes the ass, the vagina. And it's, they're always fun to watch. Fast Freddy has a good one. Uh, my idea, I want to put as many gumballs in her twat, as many as she can handle. The contestants, you tools, guess how many... Uh, oh, it should be closest, I guess. Guess how oh. many closest, without go, going closest over the Closest to how many uh, are in there. Usually how about Chubby Cunty? <laughs> Chubby Cunty, where she's got to shove marshmallows in, Wait, then, I take thought... some cock, and then... <laughs> <laughs> I thought your idea was the Wii. No, that was again, Danny. Danny's, oh, Danny's <laughs> idea with Dan- the Wii. What what was that one, Danny? Um, well, basically, like actual details haven't really been worked out too far. But yeah. uh, get one of those Wii controllers and or nunchucks uh-huh. and uh, shove it in a chick and make her play video games. Make her play the Wii with her, with with her pussy holding the controller, controlling a sword or a tennis racket or something. He's practicing on somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. All right. More ideas will come to the table next week, I'm sure, after the long weekend. I've got one. You oh. put a whole bunch of liquid up her snatch, mm-hmm. some kind of colorful liquid, and yeah. then you make her do that fucking Dance Dance Revolution game. Um, that was another uh, one of Danny's ideas. God fucking but that Oh, one was, here it is. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't that different, though? That was... That was the... No, um, that was... Uh, uh, I think Steve actually named it Lax Lax Revolution. <laughs> yeah. When you, you have enemas. Or Dance Dance Diarrhea. Right? <laughs> this is what you do. You put a little thing in her butt mm-hmm. and put paint in her beaver and you make her spin with a paint shooting out and it makes one of those things that you used to do at the carnival. Like a sit and spin. Yeah, but you used to Spin do- art. Yeah. Spin art out of a pussy. Hmm. That's tough to pull off, but you're thinking. <laughs> I like it. Um, yeah, if you put a thin, like pencil thin thing up her ass that held a uh, uh, little disc, a white disc, and then you spin the disc and she then discharges the liquid, the p- it would look like spin art. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. All right. Well, it's a competition, and uh, we can get the listeners involved. We'll, we'll accept a we'll we'll accept a really good uh, idea from the pest. And the name of the pus- contest: Your pussy's got talent. Your pussy's got talent. So, so yeah. So so your pussy's got talent. Right. So your pussy's got talent. Right. 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 It's got to be worded perfectly. Okay.